Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Hey yo man, it's your time. And hey, fuck poverty. Get this money, man. This money, man. What the fuck you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? What's up everybody? Welcome to the Phil and Leroy the Judgmental Podcast. What's up everybody? It's your boy Phil in here. And I'm Leroy, so what's going on, Phil? Chilling like a villain, waiting for this NFL season to start. And why, why, why are you waiting for it? You see the Eagles got a uh, drub yesterday. Yeah, but that don't mean shit. We had no starters playing. Uh, that was because of the stomach virus going on, right? They Well, they said the, uh, the, the uh, what is it? They had a team scrimmage with another team. And that got canceled because the other team had the stomach bug. That was the Dolphins. Oh, that was the Dolphins. Well, yeah. since they since they didn't do the team scrimmage, I guess I guess the uh, Eagles probably didn't take a chance. I was like, you know what? Since they all sick over there, fuck that. We're gonna put the backups in, third stringers in. Yeah, and uh, to Aloha, they kept him in the game. They that was their intent to try to run up that score. Well, they gotta they gotta build his confidence some type of way. So if he look good against third string, okay. You got to do that shit in the regular season. <laughs> I uh, I had oh. my fa- one of my fantasy drafts yesterday with the old heads. Uh huh. And their league is weird because you get you like I'm projected to win, and I and they pro- they uh the the CBS app they had me as the second best draft, so they had me finishing in second place. And the first place is three thousand dollars. The second place is a thousand. And then they have uh, 400 spread out through, like, individual awards, like best uh, fantasy player, best winning most wins and stuff like that. Now, whose uh, draft is this? Fantasy football league is this? This is uh, Mike, uh, Mike and them. Oh, okay. Those guys been playing fantasy football for 40 years. I ain't even know it was around that long. Yeah, they had to go in the newspaper. Yup, that's what they were talking about. They like, oh, man, we started with newspapers. We had to grab papers and do our own stats and everything. Oh, I that's said, a, that's all right. I'll pass. Yeah, it, it, it costs 200 bucks. And mm-hmm. then they have, like, uh, you got to pay an extra 15 for for uh, food. But he have, like, all catered food. He got, like, a big-ass uh, bar in his basement with it, everything you can think of to drink down there. Mm-hmm. They give. They usually do like trophies. They have first and second place, so it's a big league. But their scoring system is whack. So, like in our league, I think if you if you're running back, get ten yards, you get a point. Well, mm-hmm. in their league, their league is a touchdown league. So shit, you can have a hundred yards. You, it might take you a hundred yards to get one point. Yeah, that's true. so. The scoring is always loading, right? Right. So like this week, uh, the first week I'm projected to score thirty nine, and my opponent is projected to score thirty five. Right. And I think the highest score I seen was like forty two. Somebody was scheduled uh, projected to get forty two. So it was like a real low score. <laughs> and then, I, and then like, is a uh, is Indian guys there? A lot of Indian guys, and and I, it surprised me that they know so much about football and they've been doing it for so long. Because I, you don't usually see them like you you know what I mean like that. Right. Hanging, hanging out with a lot of brothers, bullshitting, coking and joking, and fantasy leaking it up. Okay, that's the racist portion of the so, program uh, today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so the one guy you don't find that funny. How's it racist? The racist portion of the program, because you said well, them and uh. <laughs> well, you got to remember, I'm in the military, so I've been around everybody, and you usually, uh, usually don't see Indian guys hanging with us. Like they never went out to the, the clubs and the bars and all that stuff. They didn't have to sit around and play cards with us and stuff like that. I'm joking. Uh, go ahead. So the one guy, the the one guy has a he started a, a pick'em league, and I jumped into, it and I'm like, damn, they had so much shit going on there. I was like, man, you this is like some gambling the holic shit. <laughs> he, he has a pick'em league, and he said there's over sixty seven or seventy people that's in the league. So what you do is you pay two hundred dollars up front, and then you don't pay nothing the rest of the week. You just uh pick your win. You know who gonna win every game? You know how to right. do week, weekly picks. Yeah, and then you put your uh, total score for the Monday night. Every week of the season, somebody's gonna win five hundred dollars. So shit, if you win one time, you got your money backing you up. Right. But it's five hundred dollars every week, and then at the end, they count the app counts all of the points up, and whoever has the most—I mean, not points—uh, wins. The app counts the most wins up. Whereas I had the total amount of wins for the season, they get fifteen hundred. 
I said, damn. I said, that sounds too good to be true. Let me jump up in here. And the, the kicker is you ain't got to never worry about getting your picks in because he says he send out texts to make sure people get their picks in. And uh, where was this at? This was uh, like Ogon. It's always at the end of Broad up that way. Okay. Oh, and you want to say who your picks? Who'd you pick? Um, I had the seventh pick. The guy that had the first pick, he wanted to uh, listen. He wanted to trade with me. And he said, I even give you my uh, last two picks in the draft. And <laughs> I said, even if I take your last two picks, it's, we only get uh, 14 players. So what I'm going to do with that? You know what I mean? But his picks will probably been better than my picks. That's what he's trying to get at. Uh-huh. Right, I'll tell you who I got in a second. Uh, all right. My first pick was uh, Justin Jefferson. And then I got Mixon. Then I got tight end Andrews. Then I got uh, who the fuck is Allen? Who the, who's Allen? Uh, Keenan Allen, Cam Akers, Deontay Johnson, Brandon Cooks, Kyler Murray, AJ Dillon. I got a receiver Mooney from Chicago, Tampa Bay defense, Bass as my kicker, uh, the receiver Ayak, and another receiver, the rookie uh, Olave for the Saints. Okay. So I got like I got like I want to say seven receivers, but in this league you only have to start one receiver, and then those other three, it's like you gotta have you gotta have a one run running back gotta play, but then they have like receiver, tight end, running back for like three or four positions. It's up to you who you want to play. So right. I loaded up receivers because I didn't really trust the running backs that was out there. So I'll have mixing I'll have mixing, and then I'll probably load up with receivers. I I probably won't even play my second running back. Uh-huh. Depending yeah. on how he look, you know what I mean? Yeah, that sounds kind of weird. Uh, a weird um, format. Yeah, I, I thought the uh, Northeast was weird with the damn defensive linemen and uh, <laughs> cornerbacks. Well, that's that, they got like a uh, full team, so that's why their jaw seemed kind of weird. Here, let me. I'll tell you right now how it is. All right, so. Uh, you got to have one quarterback, you got to have one running back, and then you got to have one receiver, one tight end. So you have two positions that can be either running back or receiver. Mm-hmm. So if I go with one running back, I can just throw two receivers in the mix if I can't get shit out of Cam Akers or that other uh, A.J. Dillon. Right. So uh, viral video of the week. Well, this was a video from last week. Uh, we got we got a man who pays his ex-wife. I don't know if that was his ex-wife or not, but let's just say his ex. $500 a month for child support. His son asked him for some shoes, which which means he wanted some Jordans. And his current wife gave him a weird reaction. <laughs> here's the video. Well, here's the report. I mean, we're watching the video, but. I go through. They're like, I got to choose between my child and my marriage. And the shit getting old, it getting very old and frustrating. You your child in your marriage, what is you doing? I mean, like, what's going on? I'm recording, no, man. No, 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 I ain't gonna record it because you ain't dropping that shit. I don't give a damn about no Facebook, no YouTube, or nothing. He said, fuck that, he ready to play his PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, he, he's sitting down and ready to play a video game. No, 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 no. Hey, I don't care nothing about that. Because my thing is right here, you pay $500 a month. You can drop it. I'm gonna put your business out there. You pay $500 I want to say that's Grand Theft Auto. Child support, it ain't nobody but doing no extra. No shoes, no clothes, no toys, no nothing. Fuck all that. What you talking about? Man, my son ain't even some shoes. I don't give a damn about your shoes. I don't give a damn. No, they get yeah, shit. Right. Get your shoes out of child support money. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she get- First of all, fellas, uh, number one. Well, I'll get to the number one one later. But uh, number two. Wherever he got going on with a conversation with his son is none of her business. I'm sorry to say that, but it ain't now, really have nothing to do with you. Now, I agree to an extent because if they share in a bank account and it's coming from there, then she got say in it. If he just paying out of, then he, out of his own pockets and he's still handling his business, then she need to shut the hell up. And uh, number three, fellas. Get your own crib because uh, the way she's talking to him, I could automatically tell that that that's her house and he just living there. Or maybe they they might be married. Well, and, they said but they was married, right? Okay, but then that's her house. Then she had that house and he just moved in with her. 
uh, fellas, you never live in another female's house because you'll have to deal with deal with shit like this. I just the way she's talking, I could just automatically tell that this is her house. And no, because no, because the way she talking shows you she would talk like that at his house too. She. Why did this um uh, care? We will will uh 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 get to that one. <laughs> Support. The court ordered child support. You ain't got to do shit else. And she ain't get the nothing else. She should have never took the fucking child support out if she needed more money. You shouldn't feel like that no more. Why should I feel like that? Yeah, that's, that's Grand Theft Auto. I could tell how it does. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the screen come on with the uh, sirens and then when you turn it on. Mm-hmm. Lisa, sure. Yeah, it's that uh, uh, the updated one that they released last year. Fuck that child. Fuck you too. I don't give a damn about that. See what I said? She is not gonna be in in his house telling telling her to fuck his child and fuck you too. I think she would. I think because that's the type of chick she is. Okay. You buy shoes. You ain't buying no fucking shoes. You buy shoes. You buy the shoes. You buy the shoes. That's it. That's it. I'm kidding you. You pay child support. I understand her point. But it doesn't work like that. If the kid wanted some Jordans, then I would have just gave him some Jordans, bought him some Jordans. It don't work like that, meaning that that uh, just because you give this woman money for child support means she's just going to buy that all that money is to the kid. She it. It's that, supposed that, to. That, it's supposed it to, but you, yeah, exactly. So so she has a point, but her as a woman know that gun well, it don't work like that. That goes to the woman's clothes. The, the the car she driving, she could put that on the uh the insurance for the month. Now mm-hmm. you know good and well. The, what kid gonna see that? Like like the kid could just walk on in, into his mom and ask for anything he want. You know, clothes wise. Mm-hmm. I ain't talking about toys or anything like that. And she can give it to him because she got that money from child support. That shit don't work like that. What is she talking about? Well, if it's it, it, is his toes hanging out of sneakers, because if he's paying five hundred dollars a month, he should have some sneakers on his feet. Now, if you want to be nice and get him some, if he asking for Jordans, then you turn around and buy that shit for his birthday or Christmas or something like that. As long as he got some nice shoes on his feet, he don't need Jordans, especially if you're kicking out five hundred dollars a month. But, well, Lord, but I was gonna say, I was gonna say her point. If they marry and they got a joint account, and that's how she said, if you buy that, we're done. How would she know? So that tells me they probably got a joint account, and she don't want to spend no more money on that kid. But she shouldn't have said F is kid and all that. That's enough right there to say leave that damn girl alone. That's why I said that's her house. I don't think that got nothing to do with the house because I think her the way her attitude is, she would have talked like that in his house too. Uh-huh. Right. But but going back to the shoe thing, now maybe the mom didn't get him the shoes he wanted. So I'm assuming when you said for birthday and all that stuff, I'm assuming since this was released a couple of weeks ago, I'm assuming it was around, you know, school time. Mm-hmm. And he wanted he wanted some sneakers for school. But his mom didn't probably buy him, buy him or buy him the sneakers he want or didn't get him any sneakers. She might have asked, said, well, hey, look, ask your father for it. She might have said one of those well, things. That's what I'm saying. Did she buy him sneakers, but just not the ones he wanted? And then he turned around and went to Jordan's like that? Or she just said, no, ask your dad to get sneakers. I think she might have said, ask your dad. Well, ask your father. Well, would you want some of those? Oh, no, I don't have it. Ask your father to uh, get them for you. And I'm just assuming it's Jordan's because, you know, that's what the kids like. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Dunks. Who knows? Right. <laughs> Why? You don't think little kids know what Dunks is? Uh-uh. <laughs> What you paying the child support for? I'm saying, hell no. Good thing you need some shoes. I'm gonna get the shoes. No, you ain't getting no shoes. I ain't getting no shoes. It don't matter. It doesn't matter. No, you don't need to buy no shoes. She get the shoes out the child support money. Five hundred dollars. Pause. Go ahead. So he said, he said, why are you worried about it? It's not coming out your money. So that tell me they don't have a joint account. See, so that's yeah, what so- I mean. Well, so she needs to just shut the hell up. Right. It's not as long as business. he still can pay all he's supposed to pay the rent or mortgage and all the bills, whatever he's supposed to pay. As long as he can pay that, if he want to spend extra money on his kids, she needs to shut the hell up. Right. It's none of her business, whatever kind of conversation he got between him and his child. That's, that's not her why, business. Well, that's why I said it's only her business if they had a joint account and that's money that she's put, you know, they're putting their money together. Then it would be her business. Right. If that's not the issue. Then she needs to shut up. Right. This is a big world to beast, too, by the way. Uh, let, just let that be known. Uh, well, can you tell b- by her mouth that she's a large woman? 
I'm, I'm I know she's an uh, angry black female. Uh, but can you tell by her loud mouth that she's a, a, a heavy woman? <laughs> well, something wrong with her anyway, because I don't know what female would allow a dude to put a weight bench in his bedroom. <laughs> Ain't no female allowing that, so she, she would off her rocker a little bit. Well, she's a big, big gal. She might lift. Oh, man, she ain't lifting that. Don't even try it. <laughs> Now, now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, she pulls out a suitcase and she's going to put his clothes in the suitcase. But they'll they'll get to it. But she has the suitcase now and oh, about to open it. See, this is why I believe that this is her house. It won't be in here. Well, and because when when you marry, a lot of times they make the guy leave anyway. The the female she. You know what I mean? If she got some kids, they're going to get a house to her anyway. So you see guys that's paying mortgage that's their house and they still get locked out or they got to go sleep over friends for the night or whatever, even though it's still their house. So mm -hmm. that don't really show that it's not his crib. And this is just real. Like, who set the camera up? Well, I, I I I get to that one. What the fuck is you doing? Get your ass up out of here! Get your ass up out of here! That's what I'm doing. I'm getting your ass. Look at him look right at the camera. Mm-hmm. It won't be in here. I'm getting you up out of here. Get you up out of here. Man, man. No. Come on, what's that name? Look, they don't put them. No, you wanna get shoes? You wanna get shoes? Really? Man. Oh no, we get your ass up out of here. What's going on? Come on, man. Yeah, we getting you up out of here. Look that. <laughs> you won't get no shoes in here. You can get them. Well, he's not getting shoes in there because uh, it's for the kid. He's going to be here. <laughs> She's being petty right now. Uh, but it won't be in here. It won't. Watch. He said something while she was opening the drawer. I couldn't hear what he said. The last part was ain't nobody playing with you. Yeah, but he said something else. You better uh, uh, something. And then that's when he said, ain't nobody playing with you. But you couldn't hear it because she was opening a drawer. She said it twice. See, that's what I mean. That ain't his house. I don't think they got nothing to do with his house or not. Oh, yes, it him out. She's throwing him out. How can you throw some? How you gonna throw somebody out on a house that got his name on it? It happens all the time. Hey, hey that's what they. That's what other people do. That wouldn't be me. Oh, oh and that's, that's why well, I believe that's well, her house. Say, well, you can say that it wouldn't be you, but you can't say it don't happen because this shit happens all the time with people that's paying a mortgage getting kicked out the house. It happens okay. all the time. There ain't no way. She's an idiot. Now, why she would is. the stepdad uh uh buy buy him some shoes? That don't his stepdad don't have anything to do with him buying some shoes. And you got a dad? No, mm -hmm. ain't nothing wrong with helping the kid out if that's you know if I'm living here and I'm the step parent. Ain't nothing wrong with helping the kid out, but I wouldn't buy him some shoes and his father around. So his father willing and chilling and dealing, and I got to spend money on some Jordans. No, get him to do it. Oh, she, she, see, that's why I said she got a lot of mouth there, and I believe that that was her house. Okay, what I'm saying is a uh, red flag. You brought up the red flag about this video, too, because they're having an argument and multiple camera angles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I believe that this may be fake, and they trying to, uh, you know, do that, uh, drum up some... Uh, uh, Likes and views. Yeah. So, yeah, first he was in the living room playing video games, then, then the whole thing switched with her in the bedroom with the camera there. And there was no stopping or nothing. It was just them arguing right. and everything. So he got the camera going on and his, where he's sitting at playing a uh, um, uh, Grand Theft Auto. And she's got the camera on in the bedroom with the weight bench. The high so, tech shit, just click a button and the camera goes to the next one. Right. So I'm gonna think that I'm, I'm saying that it's uh, fake. And plus in the beginning, how he's uh, talking to her, talk to the camera. Yeah, man, I can't buy my, my son's shoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a red flag on that one. That it may be fake. 
Uh, but because and she got a lot of mouth too, so I also think that's also fake too. By the way, the way she's like talking to him, the way she's talking to him. But it's people in situations like that, and like right now, if they got the arguing and stuff, and the cop came, the cop would have told my man take a walk. <laughs> that's just the way the world is. <laughs> Why? Because because uh, cause he's the man, but the but the big gal got a got a uh, all the mouth going on. That's that don't matter. <laughs> uh, our neighbors across the street, they got into it one time. I told you they, the young uh, guy was drunk. All these cops came out here and what they said, take a walk. And they got the crib together. I'm pretty sure he pays all the bills because I don't think she worked. She's always mm-hmm. smoking. They told him, take a walk. And what'd he do? Got in the car and drove off. Already drunk. That, that's that privilege for you, boy. <laughs> was he like falling down drunk, like sloppy drunk? Uh, I wasn't close up and I was like on my on my porch just being newsy. But he was loud, and he's never a loud person. You know what I mean? So I, I could tell he was, like, a little extra with it and shit. You could tell he was lit. All right. Well, the next report, we go on to New Orleans, where a video shows a 12-year-old girl tried to get on a school bus with a gun given to her by her mother. Now, this is a, a World Star video. So it starts off with the girl. Uh, uh, the girl. I, one of the kids is recording on a bus. With the girl trying to get on the bus with the gun, then it goes into the uh, to the news story. So first, you're going to hear, you know, all hooting and hollering. That's the video the kids recorded of the girl trying to get on the bus. This is her sexy mom here with uh, her drawers out. That's a drawers, right? She, yeah, with her 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 bra and her drawers and her that them big beautiful ass cheeks showing. Sean, she giving a gun to another little kid. I, I'm assuming that must be her son. No! You see, the kids are howling. Now, keep in mind, this was this was a couple of days ago after uh, um, New Mexico. You know, after New Mexico, the guy uh, bought a gun in school. And here it is. Well, I, 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 I'll uh, save it for later. <laughs> now, the kids are howling because they think they're about to get shot. <laughs> I'm assuming uh, they had a fight on the bus and uh, she must have had called the mom while she was on the bus and the mom must have dropped everything and came over Even there. still, what is this, in the afternoon? Uh, yeah, I, I don't that's know. That's what I'm saying. You Early in the morning or in the afternoon, that's when the kids are on the bus. The bus is not going to come back to the house for the bus, so that's dropping them off and then he's running back up there. Why the bus just sitting there? And the kids are, are, these are little kids. These are like elementary school kids. They're it's like, probably, it's, it look like it's 12 and under. They're crying because you on a bus because they think they're about to get shot. Here's the where the girl, the girl has the gun in her hand and she's like trying to get on the school bus. So she got the gun from the little boy? Or the mom, one or the other. Well, in that other clip that you showed me, it looked like the mom gave the gun to the little boy. Yeah, yeah. But it switches to this video now with the girl trying to get on the bus, banging, trying to get on the bus. <laughs> you see she got the gun in her hand yeah, there. Well, tonight we're seeing the- All right, now this is the news report. Scary moments when a young girl pulled out a gun after a fight on a she school bus. Good evening, train. everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Cherise Gibbs. That's her figure. What are you talking about? Yeah, okay. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. The moments were captured on video, and tonight police say a 12-year-old and her mother have been arrested. Eleanor Tabone has the story. It started as a fight between two girls on the school bus. Shout out to Eleanor going overseas, coming here to get a job and shit and making everything sound so professional. It started <laughs> out on the fight on the school bus. <laughs> After school on Friday, then things got heated. At some point, one of the girls gets off the bus at a bus stop, returning, pounding on the bus door to get inside walking away with what appears to be a gun in her hand after the driver refused to open the door for her. 
I just can't picture myself sitting there with a, somebody approaching a bus with a gun. You should have pulled off. For the bus. Well, because of course it's the bus driver's fault, not the not the mom that gave the girl the damn gun. It's no, no, no. Phone. I agree with the lady you just said. She should have. That bus driver should have pulled off. What is he sitting there for? He got the door closed. Pull the fuck off. Well, eventually he pulled off. Remember when they, all the kids was like crying and stuff? The 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 bus was going down the street. So I don't know what what was going on there. Maybe he might have pulled. He might have stopped to call the police. I don't. I don't know. Once but, the gun came out, it's time to peel. But maybe, like, because of course that is the bus driver's fault, not the mom's fault for bringing the gun. It's the bus driver's fault because he didn't leave. How great. <laughs> It was so irresponsible. City schools. It was irresponsible for the mom to come out there with her ass cheeks hanging out to get him a gun too. True. The charter school operator that runs Achille released a written statement saying Crescent City Schools and Achille Academy are horrified by this brazen act of violence that happened off school campus. The student is not at school and we are working with NOLA Public Schools regarding disciplinary action. Eyewitness News spoke with a mother of two students. Okay, I'm thinking this person right here, it may be the bus driver, the, the guy that's trying to break the kids up. Mm -hmm. It looks like an older dude. I see a, 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 a beard. Who ride the same bus? When your children ride their bus, the shit of what a could have run through your head. What if you got on a bus? You would have shot those children? Exactly. Exactly. Eyewitness News. Shout, shout out to you, Eleanor, getting a job in New Orleans. Arrested the 12 year old that same day and charged her with aggravated assault with a firearm. The child's mother was also arrested and charged with principal to aggravated assault and for contributing to the delinquency of a juvenile. Police have not exactly said what led to that charge. The children's name have not been released given the age of the girl involved. Now, here's the clip of the mom uh, that, that had the gun, that bought the gun on uh, uh they gave the kid a gun she, she and her hair done yeah and she's doing something is she doing that that thing what they do on instagram with the face thing the filters yeah, yeah definitely uh here she goes right here talking about it at the end of the day i'm a woman of god but i do not she's a woman of god did you, if you didn't hear that as you bring it out a gun for 12 year old <laughs> respect how my child is being held accountable for something that she was being bullied about she was being bullied so that's why she pulled out a firearm it was in her possession though it was not supposed to be in her possession it was in her possession and she pulled it i don't care how well, y'all say well something ain't right here but where did the lady go that that handed the gun to little kid it's something that is, is we missing here say it again i'm gonna say what you mean the remember the first the the, the ass cheeks hanging out she handed the gun to the little boy first yeah. the little boy like ran down the street or something or whatever he mm -hmm. was doing well she probably didn't want to run down the street with her ass out so she just came to the door and out front of her house gave it to him he ran down back to the bus ignorant y'all say i'm being or whatever but when a child is under frustration and being bullied he's supposed to help have help and with self-defense or whatever y'all too ignorant in new orleans i said that Achille Academy is very messy. Y'all children is messy. You need to put your children in their place because they play people too much. Nobody don't have time for to be playing with no fucking children all day. All right. Uh, that was it. Uh, she's a ch person of God, but she gave oh, a shit. A she, need, she need to be sentenced about five years. Uh, that's too high. You no, know, she ain't, ain't going to be sitting no, it that much. No, it ain't. It, oh, I'm agreeing right along with you, but I'm saying that they ain't going to send us her to no Oh, I know they ain't. I, I know they ain't. I'm just saying that's what she should get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Like, like what would have happened if that girl would have got on the bus? She would have damn shot everybody that was on that damn bus. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. So what about the uh, 12-year-old? Would you charge her, too? Yes. Okay. But she gonna get charged as a minor and go to juvie or something like that. But I think the mom bringing the gun into the whole situation should do some real time. Okay. All right. So we go into Atlanta, where the group of a trio of women is going in a Coles uh, Coles department store. <laughs> Listen, uh, hear what they're stealing. Here's the report. New at six tonight, a bizarre crime. That's what they do in the South now. They walk around with their bras and shit, just like the old girl had her bra out. Damn. Yeah, that, that's what they I do. I just saw them coming, like, hold up. These are we need to watch. Hit the alarm right now and get security out here. Now, does does this slender sister here, does she have on a waist trainer, too? 
No, she's just a big girl. She's rocking it. Okay. <laughs> and Wave is hitting coal stores in Metro Atlanta. <laughs> the latest case in Noonan is where a trio of women walked out of the department store after stuffing merchandise into big bags and not paying for it. And as Fox Files' Doug Evans reports now, you might be surprised but what they are stealing. Kohl's is a big store, a department store. And if you think about all the items that they sell, what one item do you think a theft ring might be interested in? Well, in this case, investigators say it's underwear, men's underwear, thousands of dollars worth of men's underwear. <laughs> For the fourth time in Metro Atlanta, police say these three women entered a coal store with the intent of stealing a large quantity of men's underwear. Now, are these street entrepreneurs or are they keeping the men drawers for themselves? Because, I mean... No, they selling them. Oh, okay. Should I you... buy some off of them if I ran into them? Okay, it is 2022, and you know our girls here uh, will wear men's drawers like this, so... Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. But, no, I think they were still in it to sell. Okay. That one, that one chick must be a minor, and that's why they're not showing her face. Uh, where your picture is? Yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, yeah. This was the Noonan store. Here the women are seen on surveillance cameras crouched over a display case in the men's department. Their quarry, according to the company. Oh, she they getting the big stuff too, by the way. Nice I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even get no damn Nike drawers. You ain't lying. <laughs> What's the difference between Nike drawers and fruit balloon? Ain't nobody, <laughs> what the hell? Nobody, you're not rocking, I guess, unless you're doing that sagging your pants. You want people to know that you got Nike drawers on. I don't know. Yes. Um, now it's thirty-two dollars. Is this thirty-two dollars for one? Oh, it's three pack. I'm sorry, thirty-two dollars for a three pack of drawers. You got to be kidding. Is Nike men's boxers? According to Cole's website and the police report, a box of three normally sells for about forty bucks. The women are accused of filling their big bags with eighteen hundred dollars in Nike men's briefs and skipping the cash register on the way out. These girls are walking in the store, filling up uh, reusable uh, shopping bags and walking out, not a care in the world. These three and possibly others are also accused of hitting coal stores in Marietta. Then our girls are stealing. They can't afford a shirt, but they driving around a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Woodstock and McDonough. Their total take so far is over $6,000 in high-end men's boxers. Apparently, not always Nike. If you have any information that can help in this investigation, call the Coweta County Sheriff's Office. Like if you have any uh, information, uh, call me, because I for, for $40, I buy them off you for about, what, 20 mm -hmm. I buy them off you for 20 No, uh, 15 because they don't sell for 30 so I'm going to give you half of that. All right, 15 Go ahead, Doug. Get you some. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Yeah, that was crazy there. And they can't even afford a shirt. Uh, what happened to sticking stuff in your clothes and all that stuff? I guess that's played out. You just walk in the bag and just mm -hmm. put the shit in your bag and walk out. Yep. So nobody's seen them come in there and go in there and steal that stuff? They scared to approach them. Or, may, or maybe they can't because uh, they'll say that, oh, you hurt my arm or something like that, and I'll sue. Or you think they'll, they're scared that they might get beat up? I don't know. I, a lot of people just don't be wanting to approach. Okay. Well, like Philip just mentioned about the Eagles, uh, the Eagles' last game was uh, – the Eagles' last uh, preseason game, I'm sorry, was uh, Saturday. The Eagles lost 48-10. to 10, And uh, – our boy, our boy, the third member of the Judgmental Podcast, Jimmy Kimsky, put up his projected 53-man roster. And damn, none of them running backs. The same running backs last year uh, he have is going to be <laughs> is going to be here. They, That's what it they, should be. They cutting uh, Jason Huntley, who's had a good game uh, last night, and Kennedy Brooks. All the wide receivers that everybody was so high on is getting cut. The 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 same wide receivers is going to be here. Uh, that was here last year is going to be here this year. Other than AJ and uh, Pascal, I agree with that. Uh uh, well, quarterback. They only keeping two quarterbacks. I'm sorry. Uh, I agree with that Carter. too. Um, let me see. Tight ends: uh, Goddard, Kyle Kyle Tierra, and Stroll, Rogers and 
Togagi is getting cut. Uh, offensive line, uh, no one here uh, of named. Um, Cam Jurgens looks awesome too, by the way. I just uh, uh, have to say that. Uh, edge defenders, uh, all the edge defenders are still the same. Uh, they're cutting Matt Leo. Uh, defensive line, all the defensive line is the same. Uh, Linebackers, I think a couple of uh, young bulls got cut. Linebackers, uh, Jacoby Stevens and Kristen Ellis. It's the ones that, that's getting cut. Okay, that's cool. Uh, cornerbacks, nowhere, no one other mention. Same thing with safeties. Uh, only two two safeties is getting cut. Um, they don't have any cuts on on um, special teams. Oh well, you know the punter and the uh, kick return. Practice squad. He he has uh, Brooks and Hundley on a practice squad team. The tight end he have on a uh, practice squad. Uh, Devon Island, Covey, and Deion Kane, the wide receivers, is on a practice squad. So, uh, yeah, that's his uh, projected 32-man roster. Anything you have to say? 53-man roster, I'm sorry. Anything you want to say about that? No, I'm cool with that. The only thing I don't like is they're acting like we got a veteran quarterback here. And I think Jalen Hurts needs as much reps as we can get. And when you look in the league, you see other veterans and young players playing. So why is he not playing these preseason games? And then I heard uh, Mike Mike was telling me the reason he's not playing the preseason. No, uh, one of the doctors I work for, he said the reason why he's not playing the preseason games because he's doing the uh, the live team scrimmages with other teams, and that's more important than the preseason. I'm like, no, I want to see him in the preseason. He don't got to play the whole game, but give us a quarter. Give us a couple drives, something, against well, another team, first team, live. Well, what does one have to do with the other? Because they're saying they're taking that more serious than the preseason. The off-camera live scrimmages against other teams. That's what he's trying to say. That So so if they're looking good in the, in, in the live scrimmages against other teams, that's just counting as a preseason right there so they don't have to play in the preseason. The preseason, he's just trying to fill the roster, find guys you want to keep and don't. I understand that, but you can have a, uh, you can have a minute on one drive. Exactly. I can so understand I, trying to see who you want to keep or whatever. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't like that. This is his second year as a starter. He needs as much reps as he can get. So let him – the same way we used to do it. Your starters give a couple drives here and there, and then that last preseason game, you give him like a whole quarter or something. You know what I mean? Right. Right. So uh, get excited because here, here come Eagles football. I actually think they're going to do well this year too, by the way. That offensive line is looking good. That defensive line is looking better too. From what mm-hmm. I seen from that uh, practice, uh, when he had to practice the public practice at um, Lincoln Financial, mm-hmm. the, the uh, defensive line looks looks real good too. I could have got tickets for that at the, on that uh, vet, vet ticket site, but mm-hmm. it was like last minute. It's like it got posted on like a, a, a Wednesday, and that June was like Thursday. So I was like, oh man, that's too late. Mm-hmm. All right, some TV movie talk. Tell us about your favorite show, The Shy. Did you watch it this week? The Shy. Um, I did. I just watched it actually this morning. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how my man can walk around willy nilly, and no one ever mentions about him. Like, well, damn, where you been? Man, you just left the office, and then you come around here. Uh, <laughs> He's the former mayor. He left his office and just w- walked off and left, and nobody ever mentions it. Yeah, I said the same thing. I'm like, how you just skip town like that and then come back and don't nobody even talk about it? <laughs> Anything else about it? Um, I just be watching it to watch it. Like, I didn't understand how the young boy mom was accusing him of selling drugs, and that's your first reaction. But if he said he playing games, it's not hard to prove that he's playing games. He could have right. showed like showed a fucking screenshot or something. Vouch for something that showed that he's in tournaments. He can pull it up on his line and he can see like the live tournaments and the payout, something to show her. Or remember when they, they uh, had gave him a badge, that badge mm-hmm. when he had broken, he could show her that. But and, and then why is he why is he giving that girl his money? No, I'm gonna keep my money in my house. Yeah, yeah. Hold this for me. So something gonna happen to that money. She gonna spend it, or somebody gonna take it from her, one or the other. 
Well, he's probably tired of his mom going through his shit. You know what I mean? So he's like, you know what? I'm just going to take all the money out of the house. I don't got to hear it no more. She don't see no more money. She'll leave this whole topic alone. Uh-huh. But shit, if my son is a gamer and getting money like that, I'm like, that's what's up when you're next join. He say, oh, I don't want you there. All right, well, can you live stream it? Can you give me some results? Let me know what's up. Maybe I can follow it online or something. Because you know all that stuff be streaming on that streaming game line. Right. <laughs> shit, I will not want my mom there even when I'm trying to win a tournament. She walked to this room and saw all them clothes and all them sneakers and shit. She's like, well, where are you getting all this stuff from? Yeah. yeah, come on. Yeah, that was that was ridiculous. And we got my man Trigger is smitten by his uh, his new love. <laughs> and their, their story is so stupid. <laughs> because just like he said, he said, you want me to be honest with you, but you seeing all these other dudes and stuff. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's like, well, and then her reply to that was even stupid because she was like, well, I can't be dating nobody with a with a face, uh, mask or two face, whatever she said. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> a two face telling somebody that they don't want to date anyone. That's two face. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got dudes coming and going out of your house. I don't know if you're a prostitute or not. And you want exactly. to get mad at me because I don't want to take you serious. And so uh, our girl admitted to uh, my my man who's high all the time. That man cannot open his eyes, keep his eyes open. And mine Shumper that she she was about to bang, uh, bang her ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> and of course he didn't care. See, this is what I'm talking about. About this stuff is made for women. There ain't no way in the world you yep. gonna tell me that you you was out on Valentine's Day ready to bang, and he, he didn't he he wasn't pushing himself on her. She was pushing himself on him, and he didn't want to stop there. Before. And then he actually, that's what he said. He said, well, who stopped it? You or him? Him. Oh, okay. Oh, so everything, all right, you just need to be honest with me. And then they patch it up like that. Get the fuck out of here. Right, right. So, you, so you're saying that if it wasn't for him, y'all would have banged, and you would have came back over here, act like ain't nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And, I'd and like it's Valentine's here. Day, so what if y'all, y'all did rock and roll? Now, I didn't, I didn't uh, cancel my flight so I can stay with you on Valentine's Day and probably trying to get something. You would have just rocked and roll with me, too? Yep. Dirty. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, well, all right, then wear your bags. Come on, take your bags <laughs> out. Cause, well, you untrustworthy. And then it was like he didn't care. Yep. You know, oh, well, why are you so so nice? Oh, because well, everybody in my house was hollering. Nah, that's no excuse. That's dumb. Exactly. Right. There ain't no excuse. I tell you, they, it, this stuff is specifically written for women. Because mm-hmm. ain't no way in the world no man is going to act like that. Well, hey, ain't no other woman going to act like that neither. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Um, what else happened on there? The uh, they made uh, the kid uh re- apologize, and they want what's named uh the light skin boy to forgive him. Oh yeah, yeah, and I, uh, and that's stupid too because he brought the gun, he started the whole commotion. Mm-hmm. He caused your kid to die if you to lose that baby. So ain't nobody can make you uh, accept his apology and be cool with him. Right. So they're gonna be the best of friends. You watch. Watch when this end. Watch when the uh, and, oh, th- th- next week is the last episode, right? I don't know. And uh, I got the other boy. He was sweating the girl, the fake, the fake wife, he a uh, girlfriend. He was f- sweating her like, yeah, it was something magical. They didn't do nothing, did they? Um, I remember uh, when she came in the basement, but I don't I, and, and pushed up on it, but he didn't do nothing with her. Yeah, because he was with the uh, other lady. Right, but he didn't do he, nothing. So why would so why would he say we got to talk about this? Oh, that was magical. What was magical? Mm-hmm. Like that was weird to me. So man, and, Shay, like, well, damn, did they do something? We ain't see them do nothing. And then, how come he always try to act like that's Trigger's girl, and he already know Trigger likes uh uh. <laughs> well, he well the thing is, he keep trying to get he keep trying to get Trigger to see that she's already joining. He need to be messing with her. That's what he's trying to do. So he don't want to push a pointer like that. Right, but he already know that that tr- Trigger has a different taste, his, a whole other taste than uh. <laughs> A whole other taste. They sure know how to throw a monkey wrench in black shoes, boy. I tell you. <laughs> God dang. Uh, and then the thing is, my man saw him t- talk to the new girl, was all up on the new girl when they was at that uh, community meeting. Mm-hmm. So he already knows. So I, that's why I'm trying to act like he act like that, that the, uh, the, the new lady doesn't exist. Number one, and he acts like that. That Trig don't have a t- a, a Pacific taste. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and 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 Trig's uh, 
chick, she like, you got tent because you don't want nobody to see me. I'd have been like, no, don't everybody got tent? I got tent before I even knew you. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Like everybody in Rod, 90% of cars got tent on it. All right. Sudden, I'm high, you in the tent. <laughs> but we, we going to community meetings and I'm taking you out and we walking down the street together and all this. Right. Stuff. And they ate at the restaurant. Huh? They ate at the restaurant. The That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And when they smoking weed with each other in the car, what you just? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Eddie. That, that, nothing else I can say that went on in there. That show's a joke. Yeah, nothing else I was going on. But um, did you watch the both episodes? Is this two episodes or three episodes of Power? It's three, right? Uh, I feel like it's four. Four? Okay. All right. So did you watch all four yet? Yeah, I'm caught up. All right, so how about uh, uh, today's episode? Uh, stupid. <laughs> uh, we'll go I, ahead. Like, like when uh, the, the lady, she got robbed for her money. For one, when you got over a million dollars sitting somewhere, and I told Shay, you should have somebody that just paid around the clock just to sit in the car with their gun, just cross the street from the business or something. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When you're in a business like that, you don't have no money with no security on it. And I ain't talking about no damn cameras. I'm talking about somebody run up in there because they just take the cameras like he did. Right. So that was kind of that was kind of corny. And then a young boy going up in the drug house stealing the drugs. Right. Like don't nobody know like he came in there and he ain't still shit. As soon as right. he come up missing, the only person that came back here was her son. Yep. And going back to you to the 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 store. The thing is, she had the, the the money in boxes, and it was like wide open. Yep. And, and then then the thing is, the 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 mouse was eating the eating up the money. That would that would be enough for me to move that shit to somewhere mm. else. Well, that's what the lady said. You're making all this money, and you feeding the mice and shit. Yeah. No. And then at the end, it was stupid too because uh, the boy was named Unique. Mm-hmm. He calls a, he calls a meeting. And then he gives up his gun, and then they all like getting all crazy. Like, what? what what's this about? You should. You got over a million dollars. You should have fucking skipped town and never been found or heard from again. Snap, pick your family up and bounce. Okay, so was that a way to him to get to her so he can talk to her so he can get back in the game? Well, he said he said he wanted to be left alone in his family. So like, it, it almost seemed like he wanted to leave, but he knew his family wasn't protected, and they was gonna come at his family. Mm-hmm. So as soon as he gave his gun up, then they put the gun on him. Give me my money, motherfucker. So so it was all a, a joke, you know what I mean? Because when you give her the money, now she can blow your head off since she get the money. You should have grabbed your family and got the hell out of there with that money. I, I'm thinking that uh, they're going to work together. See, I, I'm thinking that he's going to run New Jersey or some shit. Some shit, by the way. He, he going to get back in the game uh, one way or the other. Well, <laughs> This is and, all fantasy world. And this is the type of shit happening in fantasy world. Right, right. And shout out to I'll be sure Junior trying to undercut undercut my man <laughs> to, to get him out. What does he do so bad uh, uh, in the in the in the studio? He just don't like him. He want to take over everything. They supposed to be partners, but he want to just run it himself. Right. And uh, uh, undercut him to go to his sister to get him out of out of the damn business. Well, he was already <laughs> banging his girl on the sneak tip. Right, and they, they uh, money the contract must was up to for her to just leave like that. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, look, yeah, I'm going to L.A. Really? <laughs> A shout out to our girl Jukebox to her Jukebox. She finally got in the studio, and uh, everybody liked the song, but she's just not sexy enough. <laughs> uh, what else went on on there? Cow- That's- the cop popped up twice and told him, I'm just your dad. Yeah. All right. So why would my man think that he was lying? And that's what I was telling Shay. I said, when he when she talk, when she he talked to his mom, his mom always saying shady shit. Whatever he tell you, you tell me. Your mom is a gangster. You know they didn't kill people. Why she ain't take him out yet? Why she yep. sent you to do it? You know what I mean? Yep. So mm-hmm. so he know, he knows your mom. Your mom, your mom already talked about she knowing him from the past. He knows the guy that your mom said was your dad. You know what I mean? And he brought that up, too. So what the hell? And I understand why Omar Epstein just showed him the goddamn the paper. Uh, paternity the paper. test. Yeah, yeah that's just what I was about to ask you. No, it wasn't a paternity test. It was the, the test, the, um, the, uh, the marrow, right, for his cancer. What did he need it? 
No, it wasn't. That was well, a paternity yeah, test? Yeah, he had cancer. and he, No, but he took his blood and he did a DNA test to see if it was a match and it came back as a match. Oh, that's okay. what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, what happened to the paper that he had? Because I would have just showed it to him. Like, look, here. Yeah. That's your name. Yeah, uh, And he can tell him where he got it from. Yeah. I'm a cop. When you got into that shit, I took some of your blood. And I tested that shit. Look at this right here. This is official papers. 99.9. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But he all saying it, but not really saying. Like, you know what I mean? No details on it. He just right. took your word for it. And what was up with the scene of... uh? The scene didn't make no sense when he was uh, uh rolling. Yeah. Yeah, that was stupid. I'm like, what is this? So he just got a hooker at his crib all of a sudden? And then they was about to lay in bed like they was like lovers and some shit until she had to get up and go somewhere. Yeah, she got a phone call. She got to get another fucking John to hit. And, and shout out to the people of power. Um, She wasn't a thin uh lady. She had little hugs there in her stomach and area and everything. <laughs> so shout out shout out to them for... uh, uh Keeping it real. Yeah, for seeing a beauty in a BBW, so <laughs> yeah, that that scene was so weird. And then you, she, he got his own partner snooping around and following and shit and watching his house, seeing right. a hooker leave his house. Right. <laughs> so, uh, did you see House of the Dragon yet? I put it on, but I put it on real late. But then I had to cut it off because Ava was still up and she would not go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And this that... stuff on it, I, I couldn't let her see. Oh, yeah, because it's an orgy scene uh, and all that stuff. Oh, you seen that part? As soon as it came on is when I stopped it. Oh, okay, yeah. she was watching it with me because she's like in the dragon and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was that. Uh, and I should have known because you know a show like that. They going to put that on there. Right. And then the, uh, how they killed the uh, the queen with the baby and shit. Yeah, it was a, it was a couple. Like you said, it's that's what they do on on uh, mm -hmm. Game Game of Thrones. So I gotta uh, go back and watch it by myself and see what's going on with it. All right, now our favorite show, Fair Dot Neighbor. This week it was about uh, uh families in Florida, families in Florida. Now uh, everything was all cool and copacetic until the uh the man found out that his neighbor was uh uh. His father was a, a, a well-established fucking horse jockey. Yeah. And his his father got like was cheating or something and got mm -hmm. banished from the sport. So all of a sudden he just automatically after that, he just started hating on him. They was cool and copacetic till he found out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, they had a dog. They had a little dog. The dog died. So they went and got a, a bull massive, a fully grown bull massive. And the lady lets the dog out with no leash. So just so happened one day, this other family has a little dog. She takes the dog with a walk on a leash. And of course, you know, the bull massive attacks, attacks, try to get at the dog, but bit, bit her all up. <laughs> and that just started the whole, that was started the downfall right there. Well, and she was, she was stupid because she didn't press charges. Yeah. She didn't want, she didn't want to sue him. Like right. if, worst case scenario, you could have put that dog down. Or you could have sued for your medical bills or something. But she complained about it, but she didn't do anything about it. Right. See, I think it's because, uh, well, they didn't really get into it. But I think that's because they uh, had money. And I guess they, uh, I see your point. I'm on your side. But I'm thinking they had money. And, you know, when you have money, you don't care about that shit. Because mm -hmm. uh, she said that it was 20 grand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's 20 grand, grand of them? I'm right. thinking I'm thinking they was uh wealthy because that's the first thing shit. I would have said I have nightmares. I'm yep. scared to come out the house. I got a headaches from when the dog was fucking on my goddamn neck and 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 moving move my head. I, I lay in bed, I have night sweats. I haven't had a good sleep in ever since that incident. Oh, I would have had it all. Mm -hmm. I would have had it all. I had to re had to retire from my job and uh, getting disability and, and all. They got sued, and, and they didn't. They wasn't wealthy over there. They got sued so hard they would have had to move, and then I ain't got to worry about them or that damn dog no more. Yep. So but, after the incident, they still had the dog out, the bull massive with no leash. For for like I said, I think they did that on purpose when I text you because uh, what older couple? Older couple normally deals with little dogs. Now, right. see, a man, a man to have a bull massive, 
But what older couple would have her? And you see how when she had the dog out on a leash and how the dog, she couldn't really, mm-hmm. <laughs> she couldn't really control the dog. Uh, yeah, I think they, she, they did that shit on purpose. And, and that's number one. An older couple ain't not going to have no dog that, that uh, large. Second of all, they got the dog when it was fully grown. The dog mm-hmm. wasn't even the puppy and shit. Well, you see what happened at the end. As soon as uh the guy got killed, the, the wife two days later put the dog down. Yep. You should have done that from the door if you weren't going to be responsible. Exactly. So, yeah, uh, n- now the the uh, the neighbor had wrote a letter about the uh, about the twenty thousand uh, dollar medical medical bill. And uh, the the wife told the, the husband, right, mm-hmm. about the bill. Right. And that that just set him off. So he went and got his gun. And he, he went to the house and shot the father, killed the father in the garage. Hold on, hold on. But he said he she saw him grab he grabbed two guns, two handguns, and he said, uh, I'm gonna go out here and look at the ants or the fire ants in the yard or something. She yeah, should have stopped him. She should have stopped him and called the cops. He he grabbing two handguns talking about some damn fire ants. Mm-hmm. So uh he, yeah, like like he said, and he killed the guy in the garage, the father in the garage. He went in the house looking for the uh looking for the mom but the mom and the son had had went out did they go out a window or went out a door i think they came downstairs and ran out the back door yeah left the left the daughter and the the grand the the granddaughter i thought it was the granddaughter no yeah it was the granddaughter it was i thought that was um her son's uh kid no it wasn't her son kid oh well that was the niece then i thought that was the granddaughter i think the girl said her cousin oh okay yeah cousin so it was the mom's niece so left them in the house the guy finds them uh the girl the 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 niece got out she snuck out the little the the daughter tried to run and he well he well first of all the damn cop should have stopped him because he looked in the door and saw the the cop looked in the door and saw him in there and never shot shot inside the door Right. Well, see, that's what I told you. I said, uh, the cops was coming in a step up the steps. They saw the guy walk past the steps. Now he already shot somebody. They should have unloaded on his ass, but he didn't. And mm. then when the girl ran first, it was a shootout between the cops. The one cop downstairs, the male cop, he gets shot in the arm. So then that's the end of the, the gun shootout. The, the other cop, Oh my God, my partner got shot. Instead of taking out the threat, she goes downstairs and attending to him and shit. Mm-hmm. Those cops were some suckers. That's what it was. And then the dad, the dad shouldn't have let her run back. And I was like, with his last breath, he should have been like, no, run down the street. Don't go back in the house. Right. But she ran back in the house where the dude was at. And then the mom, how's she going to leave her daughter in the house? And what I was telling you before, I think it was either Kevin Samuel or or, or Tommy Sotomayor. They said a lot of times these females will run out of the house of a fire or something. They'd be like, oh, stand out in the street and be like, oh, my duck, my kid is in there. Like, well, damn, why you ain't taking which one you ran out? (laughs) Yes, and uh, he sh- he shot the daughter and he killed himself. He shot himself in the uh, chest. He killed the and daughter as soon as she hit the door to try to break break out. Yep, that was a sad story with the with the kids and everything. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, okay, now did you watch Married at First Sight? Yeah, and I still find it strange that these black people, these new wave blacks, when she was talking to her sister. And she was like, yeah, you know, your nephew got bit. <laughs> <laughs> your nephew is a damn dog. Mm-hmm. I love dogs just as much as the next person, but I ain't never call no dog. Hey, that's my brother. <laughs> well, the uh, the Asian dude, his wife said the same thing to his friend. It was like uh, your son. He's like, whoa, whoa, his friend. Like, whoa, whoa, what son you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did that. Uh, well, he's still not trusted. She still is upset at him about that whole uh, incident with the uh, the money thing, which I don't know why she's still upset about that. And then uh, my favorite girl, the uh, the environmentalist uh, wife, you got to bless her. She just want a man in the house. She's just desperate for a man. You talking about the uh, the doctor or whatever that don't work? No, 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 no. I'm talking about the uh, environmentalist, uh, uh, the environmentalist wife. You know the the bald headed dude. Oh, okay. Uh, I forget his name. Yeah. Who's the environmentalist? He's like all environmentalists and don't want any plastics and all that type of shit. Oh, okay. I see you talking about. Yeah, I wouldn't even talk about him. Yeah, she uh, just want to do. 
Yeah, she just just a wanted guy. And how about when she when he yeah, when she, she was telling the story about how she got di- ditched at the altar and he started laughing. <laughs> He's like, "Oh no, that's not funny." <laughs> He's like, "Oh." He was like, "Oh, I'm thinking that she was gonna start laughing too." He's like, "Oh, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry." Now, what did you want to say about the two doctors? The uh, is is. Is he a doctor too? He's not a doctor. What did he do? Dungeons and Dragons. He's yeah. A doctor. Oh, he is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, their story is so full of crap because she's saying she do want to change her name, but it's too soon because they just met. But in turn, she's like, "Can you put me on my health insurance?" And when he say, "Well, you change your name," they made a big fuss about it. Right. So you don't care about me because I can get hit by a car. Well, shit, you ain't care about yourself before you met me. How come you ain't got insurance? Well, she works, right? She worked part time when she feel like it. So that's why she don't have insurance, because you can't be a full time in the medical field and not have insurance. Right. So that's why she works on her whenever she feel like it, to, which is probably like fucking once or twice a month. All right. So remember when the, when the, uh, the Muay Thai, Ben's uh, wife, the Muay Thai uh, mm-hmm. fighter, had said something about the student loans. And mm-hmm. she was the first one to say, yeah, I got student loans, too. Right. So All she right. got. that's why she, she got student loans. She don't got insurance and she don't give a shit. Right, and she's working because you would think you you would think she'd be working full time somewhere to try to fucking bring that stupid loan down or get some goddamn health insurance. She's concerned about it, but I was looking on online on the fees that married at first fight, and everybody was dogging him for saying that for like giving her the ultimatum, saying change your name. He don't got to change his name. I've been married to my husband, and I ain't changed my name. Well, that's you, right? Yeah, that's that's that new way woman shit. It's like for some reason I don't understand when you get married, you change your name. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't understand all that shit going on. All of a sudden now they're trying to say that's uh misogynistic and all this type of shit. No, it's not. Right. <laughs> well, it's misogynistic for me to uh put you on my damn insurance. Then <laughs> uh, how about that? You get your own insurance. You want to be uh? And then she gonna buck. They was talking about it. Then she gonna get mad and buck in the bed at him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I'm not changing my stance on that. That's just what it is. Right. You want to be on my health insurance, and you can say no on fucking decision day, and I'm still paying for me- medical coverage for you. Hell no. Right. <laughs> Any other shows? Uh, I watch She Hulk. It's okay. It's more like geared towards fucking kids or something. I don't know. No, nah, it's a Marvel show. You know, with Marvel shows, you know, you gotta. It starts off slow and it builds up towards okay. the end. So uh yeah, the first episode was was uh that fight at the end was horrible. You saw uh, her and the girl? Yeah. Yeah, that was gotta be like one of the worst fight scenes yeah. between a villain and a superhero. The the only thing I wanna know is uh I, I don't wanna be in I'm not the type to be in somebody's pockets, but I wanna know how much the uh the guy Mark Ruffalo, I was about to call mm-hmm. him the uh Hulk. I wanna know how much he got paid because the guy's not even there. They could just use his uh his face and and you know create the animation and all that shit. Now does he and it, and he could just do the voiceovers. Now how much now do these Marvel guys do they just get uh uh, uh is they like a salary thing or do I think they get so? Paid? I think oh. I think when they do the big movies they get a big check, but when they do the little cameos and shows like the Marvel shows that they got going on now they get another check. Right, because you know the, I mean? the the only time when he was on camera is when he had the car accident. <laughs> yep. Other than that, it was just uh, just him being Hulk, and he could just do the voiceovers. He could probably be sitting in his house and do the damn voiceovers. And I don't like I don't like smart Hulk. He just like fucking retarded. I like like angry, mad, real credible Hulk. <laughs> uh, and then they gave him a reason why he's not going to be there because he's in space. I mm-hmm. guess that I guess that's like some type of Guardians of the Galaxy shit about to happen. I I don't know. I guess because when he saw the spaceship, he didn't even tell her that. He just said, "Yeah, some uh, intergalactic or whatever." Like brushed it off like it wasn't no big deal. Right. So a second episode, nothing really happened on the second episode. No. Uh, yeah, nothing really happened. Uh, the family dinner that was on the second episode, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nothing really happened. So when it comes to these Marvel TV shows, you got a, uh, uh, um, you got a, rather yeah, because they start off real slow. And then it'll pick up. Well, you know, Daredevil is going to be on there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they, they yeah, start. I, I'll watch it. Um, I didn't watch Loki, but they said they had some good spoilers in Loki. Uh, anything else you looked at? Um, 
I actually did you see that documentary on Tua? You never got back to me. Not Tua. No. Uh, Manta Teo. Manta no. Teo. No, I didn't. Yeah, see. that was really good. So we can talk about that next week when you mm-hmm. watch it because that was good. Mm-hmm. I felt bad for the dude, but uh, I, I'll talk to you when you watch it. Any other uh, TV shows? Um, we started watching this new show just on a humbug, like when ain't nothing else over here. Really see, it's called Skins. And that's like our eight uh, eight seasons or something like that with that. Mm-hmm. And it's the same shit. Fucking up uh, teenager kids trying to find their way. One dude a virgin just can't get none. One dude a jackass, but he got a girlfriend. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got some funny parts. You know what I mean? Uh, any movies? Uh, movies. I put what's the name on last night? No, the night before. But I fell asleep when I felt like it was extra long. But it started getting good. Uh, nope. Did you uh-huh. see that? No, I seen it, but I mean, I see where it's at. It's at. I didn't watch it. Okay. And the guy, the guy that stars in Nope, you know, the brother, he's uh, he's in that show Skins too. He's probably like fifteen or sixteen in that show. Uh huh. Is this a Skins a British show? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, any other movies? Um, uh, movies, I can't think of nothing. You watch anything? Yeah, uh, for now on, anytime I see a, a movie or something that kind of sort of looks interesting, I'm a uh, uh, read it. What's it about? Because I looked at House of Gucci and I thought that it was uh, about how Gucci started. Mm-hmm. And because Gucci started in like the 1930s or something, I thought it was about, you know, how they started and how they came up and everything. Mm-hmm. The damn movie started like in the 1970s. When a guy walked in the room, they was playing like. Um, that disco music. I'm like, oh shit! I thought this was a uh, 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 about how Gucci started. So it was about the one of the sons. He wanted to be a lawyer. He wasn't really in the in the Gucci business, mm-hmm. and he got with uh, Lady Gaga. I, I don't remember what the lady's name was on the movie. He got with Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga was like trying to pressure him into uh, being more in the business or whatever. Mm-hmm. She she was like very. Uh, like she had some she gave him some good advice but she was like very like like real like on him about you know being in business and doing this and all that stuff because it was one time the his father had uh died and uh one of the guys said said yeah man you got all these taxes and all that stuff how you want to pay and he was like i don't know how i'm gonna do it and the guy said well like i know what you can do you can sell your shares she jumped up and was like, oh, no, you not neither. You know, like, <laughs> kind of so she was like real possessive and everything. And he got met, he got pissed off about it. So he left her. He do you want me to tell you the story or not really? I mean, you oh, get okay. to the point. Was it worth watching? Uh, yeah, it was worth watching for uh L- Lady Gaga put on a hell of a performance. And Gerald Leto, Gerald Leto was one of the um one of the he was Al Pacino's uh, son. Al Pacino mm-hmm. was a was a Gucci. And he was Al Pacino's son. Uh, Jerry Leto put on a good performance, too. Lady Gaga, that was damn near like a... a I think she was nominated for an Oscar, um, if I'm not mistaken. But I can see it. Because she mm-hmm. put on real... For somebody who's who's not really an a, a actress, mm-hmm. she really she really did well. Well, it's a true story anyway. So um, so he left her and got, got with another lady. So she uh, hired hitmen. <laughs> oh, she was in the... Uh, um, getting those um uh fortune tellers and a fortune teller was telling her what to do and all this stuff so the fortune teller hooked her, her hooked her up with these two hitmen the two hitmen killed the killed the husband and uh they all got caught and uh, went to jail but it's a true story but i didn't know it was supposed to be like that i thought it was supposed to be how gucci got started mm-hmm. but for the performances and everything it was really good okay. oh oh it was one part where um you know they was in italy so they have they have uh they got with Al Pacino. Al Pacino was here in, in New York. Al Pacino told them to come down to New York. So they came down to New York and Lady Gaga was walking down the street and saw people selling bootleg Gucci stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so she bought all the bootleg Gucci stuff and and showed it to him. And they ain't even care. Like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, okay, and and she was just like so pissed. Like, how can they be out there selling this cheap stuff? And and they like looking at her like, okay, like, well, what's the big deal? <laughs> Yeah, I looked at that. I looked at uh, Injustice. Did you see that? The uh, cartoon, DC cartoon movie? No. Very good movie. And it was a real good plot. 
Um, I'm not going to give it all away, but I can tell you that, uh, well, of course, you know, it involves this is DC problems. It always involves around damn Superman and Batman. These these cartoons. Uh -huh. So um, Joker Joker was in uh, Metropolis and Joker had uh, killed Jimmy Olsen. He killed Jimmy Olsen and he, he killed uh, he, he killed Jimmy Olsen and kidnapped Lois Lane. And uh, so they all trying to find him or whatever. Well, he took Scarecrow's uh, uh, sermon. And uh -huh. so he, uh, Superman got sprayed with it. So when he's like fighting it, he sees like this monster. So he takes the monster up into space and they was trying to tell him to stop. But he kept going. He took the monster up into space. Well, what happened was that was Lois Lane, and Lois Lane was pregnant. So he kind of so so uh, Joker killed Lois Lane and uh, the the unborn baby. Mm -hmm. So uh, of course you know, of course you know what Batman does. He arrests uh, uh, Joker and put him back in the uh, the asylum. Mm -hmm. Superman came in there and just put his put his fist right through his chest. <laughs> killed him. Yep. Dang. Yep. And I'll just leave it there at that. But one thing I can say is a lot of darn killing in that in that uh, movie. And it was a very good plot. Very good right plot. A, that's right up my alley. A whole bunch of killing cartoons. Yeah, very, very good plot in it. And I'm, when I say killing, I'm talking about this uh, uh, heroes and stuff, too. Mm -hmm. getting killed. Okay, that's cool. So, yeah, very good plot. I, I'm sorry. It came out last year. I think it was like uh, uh, October, mm -hmm. October, November last year. Very slept doing. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. But that was a real good movie. Well, that was the only ones that I seen was those two. Okay, I'll check it out. I see Avon Shea over there rocked out. Yeah. We was uh we got up at five today, and then I went to Shea was having like neck problems, so I was like, "Is this massage place around the corner on Baltimore Pike? It's got real good reviews. Everybody's talking about Sarah's the one to go to, and she gives the best massage you ever had." So we went over there, and it's dirt, it's dirt, it's cheap as hell. It's like real cheap, and she got like five stars. It's like a dollar a minute. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. like cheap. Right. So so she got one and she came out and she really liked it. It was real good, this and that. So I was like, uh, she was like, you need to schedule you one. So and it was uh twelve o'clock. So I was like, Are you busy right now? You you got any open for right now? She's like, No, my next appointment is at uh at one. I'm like, All right, she's like, You wanna go? I'm like, Yep. Man, she hooked me up. That was probably one of the best I had too. All right, now. What's a good time frame for a massage? Because you said it was a dollar a minute. Yeah, I, I did an hour. But you oh, do, okay. All right. You could do half an hour. You could do 40, whatever. You should just, it's a dollar a minute. There's a lady that we've seen in there. I think when we were going in, she was coming out a white lady. Mm -hmm. This lady, I think she was 89 years old. You, you, she, she was like moving good. Everything about her was like snappy. Like she was cool. I was like, damn. And mm -hmm. she told us, the lady told us, like, she's 89. She's been coming in for years. And the lady, she's a, a young Asian lady, and she uh, she been doing massages for ten years. There, she said she's gonna move from that location because it's not a good location, and she's gonna be moving around here next to Giant. I said, oh, that's money right there. Mm -hmm. But it was real. It was like real decent. Like she like walked on my back, and she cracked our damn near all my muscles and shit. Everything. She was working on the sciatic. Everything. I came right. out of it, and she had like neck. She, she was having neck pains from like the back of her head all the way down to her neck, and then going across her arm. She was getting all worried and stuff. Ooh. But the girl hooked her up. Yeah. Well, all right, y'all. You can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok at PNL Judgmentals, Instagram at the two underscores Judgmentals, or you can email us at PNL Judgmentals at gmail dot com. All right, Phil. All right, y'all. Peace out. I think all I do is rap. I can do it on my own. That's why I produce the track. Don't wonder where my crew is at. They'll be back. Niggas see me walking on the block and look like, who is that? Who is that? People always want to know where my friends is at. Like, we attach. I don't need no crew to produce the same effect.